Forensics is essentially finding bad guys on the computer. My senior year, my major professor came and talked about cyber forensics to one of my classes. Finding evidence using their digital media to say that they are the bad guy and they did do this crime. I realized that it was just something really cool and I wanted to do that and so I got started in it. I am a PhD student in this program. Computers are part of everyone's everyday life so there's a huge need and it just seemed really, really interesting. A lot of different routes that I could go with it. I also work with the Indiana State Police. Indiana State Police and Purdue Cyber Forensics work hand in hand in helping to catch predators. There's a lot of bad guys who are using technology to facilitate their crimes. The Purdue Cyber Forensics are ranked number one in the United States. And so I'm looking at their behavioral patterns on the computer. The FBI regularly comes here and asks us for help with cases. I talked about computer forensics. I talked about what we do in the lab and how we support law enforcement. And then I talked about like internet safety. How many of you guys use privacy settings on your Facebook? The big problem is that bad guys prey on these social network sites. And then I had an activity where they used one of our programs and the kids are able to click around and see how easy it is to use these tools to find evidence on a computer. This is FTK Imager and this is going to show us the files. A lot of them are like, oh wow, look at this, did you find this, did you find that? Oh, can this be used? I had pieces in there of evidence on this fake crime scene. It's not necessarily always black and white. I show them there's other things that can really play into evidence collection. And think about how this may indicate that the person is a bad guy. If they're looking at a police officer's uniform and they're a bad guy, what can you put this together as to supporting that they're a bad guy? Maybe he's going to pose as an officer and then do his crime. When they did that, they started to see that it's more than just black and white evidence. They have lots of pictures of guns. They have pictures of New York. So what would that tell you? Maybe they have maps that can tell us that maybe they're looking to go to these places. But it tells us a story, an understanding of who the person is that's behind this media. I wish that I could have gone to something like Spirit when I was in high school. Seeing them, you know, just get excited about something they never knew about before. What kind of stuff do you think you would look for on a bad guy's computer? A lot of people in general think, oh, you have to be a dork to be a, you know, be in computing. And that's not true at all. Like, you know, anybody can do it. There's so much evidence that you can find on a computer. And especially women, women can do technology and computing as well. You know, it's kind of like a scavenger hunt. You know, trying to find all these pieces and figure out who this person is and who's behind it. I think it's really important for teachers to educate their kids about there's a lot of potential for careers here too. I want to work for the FBI. I want to be a profiler.